so step one and step two are tightly regulated so the step one step one is formation you know what is the step one step one is formation of this prpp and step two is formation of this pra so isn't this you don't have to know isn't this easy process 11 steps in that 11 steps again you can you can see the two step again to number two came so first and second two steps are rate limiting steps first two steps are rate limiting steps and among that also this number two step becomes very important number two steps are most important more important in this two so this step you will be stimulated by this enzyme this is you know because reactant will stimulate this is stimulated by this enzyme and then this will be inhibited by product nucleotide so this is the most important rate limiting step so this is the enzyme name. this is the enzyme name. so this is enzyme name you can see enzyme name is amido transferase amido transferase why amido transferase because i'll tell you this glutamine glutamine is an amino acid like this it has five carbon one two three four and five it is made from glutamate you know glutamate it has two carboxy group like this and here also carboxy group so carboxy group like this and then here will be amino group one amine this is amide group so this is amide group and ns2 so this amino group is transferred from this last this amido group that is why this is called amido transferase prpp this amino group is transferred and glutamate will be formed so this is that is why this is called amido transferase prpp amido transferase is the most important enzyme which will be inhibited by stimulated by the reactant and inhibited by the product okay and this is also the drug there is this is why this is step is also important because there is a drug the drug which is very similar to glutamine the amino acid drug that is very similar to glutamine called ezacerin will inhibit this process okay